Hello everyone, it's me, Emily. Um, I'm here today to give you my personal favorite tools and tips for getting physically fit. Now, this is really important to me right now because, as some of you may know, I got a little off track while I was in Spain when it comes to my physical fitness. Um, I'm perfectly okay with this. I didn't do anything to jeopardize my health. I just am not at top peak anymore, and that's because I dedicated my time to getting the most out of that experience and staying as I possibly could. It comes down to your priorities, and so now, my priority, getting back into shape. Let's start with the basics. Now, I have a love-hate relationship with skates. I think that they are important tools when you're on a weight loss journey, but I think they are about the worst thing you can do. At least for me, they're about the worst thing you can do when it comes to weight maintenance. Um, I find that when I get close to my goal weight or I'm at my goal weight, um, using that scale really, really messes with you psychologically um, as Many of you may know, our weight can fluctuate up to five pounds a day, based, especially as women, um, based on water weight and a whole bunch of other factors. So it's not a good thing to weigh yourself every day when you're close to your goal weight. Um, but if you have a little more to lose, I think it's an important tool um, just so you know where you stand. Um, and what I like about this scale it was from Ross, so it was super duper cheap, um, but it has a um, body fat percentage um, uh, scale as well, which obviously it's not going to be the most reliable, um, shall we say, uh, measurement of body fat percentage, but it's an estimation. Why not have that if you have the availability? Simple old measuring tape. So you really know how your body composition is changing. Again, this is just like the scale. It's one of those things that if it messes with you psychologically, forget about it. Now, this isn't necessarily a fitness thing, but my video to come on uh, food is going to be about my journey transitioning into veganism. And technically, this is not vegan yet. So I'm going to put it in this video. Shakeology. Now, like I said, I'm becoming a vegan. I've been about 100% vegan for just a couple of weeks now, but um, and for various reasons that I'll cover in a later video. But I have grown to love Shakeology so much and the um, benefits it's given me that this is the one non-vegan thing I'll allow myself to have. Um, and thankfully, the new tropical flavor coming out on February 14th is vegan. So soon, I will be 100%. Similarly, this could go in the food section as well, but water. I drink so much water. I carry this thing around with me everywhere I go. No joke, everywhere. Um, and the second it gets down to here, I fill it up again. Now... This is my new tool that I'm absolutely obsessed with. I just got it a few days ago. And it's the Fitbit. So, the Fitbit is really cool because it tracks your steps, your miles walked, your calories burned, oops, <laughs> the, um, how many flights of stairs you've gone up, and then how active you've been. And it also has a little clock. So, I really like the Fitbit because it has a really, really, really easy to use um, website to put in your food and your water intake as well. And you can also put customizable things to track, for example, trying to stop biting my nails. So I have days without biting my nails and I mark it every time I've gone a day without biting my nails. Um, and it's so easy to use and so easy to plug in your food and it's giving you a relatively accurate reading of your calorie burn. So you know about where you stand with how much output and how much input there is. Um, and that gives you a much more realistic way of looking at your weight loss. 
And on top of that, it will automatically adjust your calorie intake each day based on how much activity you put in. So it's really great. You don't have to think about it. It does the work for you. My 24-hour fitness membership. Now, you do not need a gym. You don't need a gym membership to get healthy. But for me, this is what got me addicted to fitness. And I'm absolutely addicted to group exercise classes. So this is huge. But when I don't have time to go to the gym or say I didn't have the money to go to the gym, I've got some great tools. I've got my Christmas present. This is how much of a dork I am. Exercise ball. Do some great core exercises. or There's tons of options. You can do push-ups, whatever. Um, and to go with that, I have my um, fitness notes from last spring when I started teaching core conditioning at UCSD FitLife. Great thing. You should take classes there if you're at UCSD. I've got all my notes for different classes that I made with tons of different exercises, many of which use the exercise ball. So perfect. My yoga mat <clears throat> with a nice, convenient little carrier. This is because... Yoga is not my favorite. I know it's really important for you, especially for me because my flexibility isn't great and I'm also trying to work on the mind-body stuff another video later. So I'm making it as convenient as possible. My favorite is my collection of Powder Blue DVDs. Now, like I said, I'm addicted to group exercise classes. My number one addiction is Turbo Kick. And so here, this was my box for my Elite 11 when I got certified in Turbo Kick, but I've added other DVDs as well. So you can see Pio in there, and there's my favorite round, 37. I just did it one few days ago. I don't remember. Um, then I've also got, you know, some Hip Hop Hustle fan volumes because I'm not yet certified in Hip Hop Hustle. So these are really great because I've got this huge collection of exercise DVDs for when I can't get to the gym or I need to practice for teaching a class later. One of my favorite tools is my iPhone. Now, you can also have any other smartphone or whatever, um, but the apps that are available on here are really cool. My favorite one, my favorite app right now is the Fitbit app because it syncs automatically with what you have on your computer related to your Fitbit. Um, so you can see here, I have my goal steps, how many I've actually walked today, my goal um, flights of stairs, how many I've done, goal calorie burn, and how much I've actually burned. And then this is the cool part. This is where it adjusts your calorie intake based on your activity. And then your water intake. And you can see down here are all the little tabs. So when you're out and about and you need to input your food and you don't have the you don't have your computer near you, you don't have any idea the like number of calories, you just pull out your phone and go to the food tab and input it. And so many brands are in there. And what's fantastic is it's super, super easy to input your own food if it's something you made or say Shakeology, which wasn't on there. I just inputted it. And I could easily just click a little star and it becomes my one of my favorites. So it's very easy to find when I want to input it at a later date. Um, what else do I have? I also have Run Keeper, which I love. And um, I've got some recipe ones on here. My 24, which gives me the um, class schedules for 24-hour fitness. And... Just the simple um, Facebook app, because as many of you have noticed, if you're my Facebook friend, I have been sharing pictures of my food, and this keeps me accountable. I also check in at the gym, which sometimes gives me discounts on stuff that I want to buy it, which is awesome, and also holds me accountable. So I can just easily just come on here and put it, and I'm done. It takes like five seconds. So... That's it for today. Um, I'm a little wordy, sorry about that. Um, I've got some really great videos coming up later. One, like I've mentioned a couple times, on going vegan. Um, one on just organization, time management, and all that jazz. 
And yeah, just some really great videos coming your way. So I hope that you stick around. If you liked this, subscribe. If you have any tips of your own that you want to share, please comment below. Click like if you liked this video, and I hope to talk to you all soon.